Hey, do you believe in ghosts? Do you believe in life after death? What if all your dreams and nightmares are pieces of a puzzle you once knew? A place and time waiting for us in the heavens. What if all this isn't real? Are you? Join me as I go looking for answers. We hit her up with everything we had. She wouldn't go under. And when the smoke faded, she was there for more. Much angrier than the first time. And all around her blue steel, the ocean was on fire. She kept coming back to haunt us like a blue ghost. Hey you guys, before we get deep into the video, I just want to let you know that the wind was so strong that it ruined the audio from my introduction. But the guy that you see standing next to me, he's a paranormal investigator, he's a war vet, he knows a lot of history about the ship. His name is Bill Miller, he's a great guy to be with, great guy to hang out with. Next time you're out in Corpus and you want to investigate the Lexington, you can request him as your guide. Now let's get back into the video guys. Okay, you guys, we're, it's me and Bill. We're about to start our investigation. But before we start, due to the wind, due to all the wind noise that was upstairs, guys, I want you to really get to know Bill. He's an awesome guy. I'm very happy I met him. And he's going to tell you a story, his, the history of the ship again, so you guys can hear it clearly. And we're going to go from there, and then we're going to start our investigation. Let's do this, guys. Welcome aboard. My name is Bill Miller, retired senior chief petty officer, United States Navy, working aboard the, the Blue Ghost, uh, USS Lexington CV-16, a real war hero. Out of all the major battles, I think she only missed one. Uh, so we have some of those guys still aboard here, and I'd love to have them. They're, they're great guys. Uh, but as we go around the passageways, we're going to find different things. Maybe, hopefully we will tonight. Sometimes we're very busy and sometimes not. But uh, if y'all come on out here, maybe the Maybe they'll be active. Now, uh, what would you hear over there? Whichever way you want to go, Bill. Huh? Whichever way you want to no, go. No, what, what did you hear? I heard, like, right here, like, you know, like, you have Siri on your iPhone? Yeah. Like, I have I have hearing aids, so my Bluetooth, like, I could hear my phone going off, so I make sure that Siri wasn't on. Okay. That's when we were walking through the other, yep. through the... It's the first floor, wherever we just came from. Yeah, I'm just going to keep a note on that. Yeah, but what did it say? I heard something right here, like in my Bluetooth, because I have Bluetooth. When someone calls me, I don't have to go to speaker yeah. mode. I hear okay. it inside my yeah, Bluetooth. Yeah, but what did it say? Yeah, my hearing aids. But I heard something say, what are you looking for? Oh, what are you looking for? Something to that extent. It was like, what are you looking for? Kind of like when you ask Siri, where is this, Siri? And Siri is like, I can't find that. Hmm. But the thing is that my Siri wasn't on, and it just sounded like... like uh, a squeaky voice in my ear okay. that said, what are you looking for? Well, if I talk to these guys, I do that all the time. But we're up here. This is Mike. Uh, Mike is uh, documenting the ship, and I just saw, saw something pass up there. That's heard like a thump. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I just I just saw something pass over there. But anyway, Mike is on a board here to document the, the ship uh, in a good way, and he's looking for your participation. So anyway... Anytime you feel like interacting with Mike, let me know, so long as Mike lets me so knows I keep notes on here, because we don't want your guy's history to go to waste. Okay. What are you looking so right now what's happening, guys, is that every time we have an experience, Bill documents what happened, and you don't have to believe me when I say this, but I'm going to tell you right now. We were walking through. This is the unrestricted area. You can't be back here unless you're with someone like Bill, you know, who's been here a very long time. How many years have you been here, Bill? I've been here 15. 15 years, you know. You need to have special permission. You need to really try calling this place just to get something going. And I was lucky enough to get it done. But anyways, long story short, I was walking through there and my Siri had gone off on the flight deck. I looked at my phone and it wasn't even on. But when I got here, Bill was asking me something like where are we going to explore, he's, where he's going to take me. And then I heard clear as day through my hearing aids. See, I got hearing aids, guys. You guys know I'm deaf. I told you that since day one. Now I finally got hearing aids. I could hear better. But it sounded like someone whispered in my ear and it said, what are you looking for? And then I stopped and I told Bill, I said, hey, did you hear that? Or did you, let me tell you what I just heard. And then he was telling me, you know what, we got to document this because 
we're gonna be here all night <laughs> let's go guys just for, I told you we have some rotten bags this, this is rotted out here so the welders came down to put these plates down but yeah. ask them to keep them separated like that I mean that's where they're safe to step on but mm -hmm. show you one of the reasons why I said don't just walk off and wander okay yeah guys this ship is very old that he was telling me that if you're unfamiliar with the and you just sneak off back here you could literally fall through the floor and get killed this is how big the ship is this ship this ship is not a joke it's been in a lot of wars a lot of people have died here and you guys are coming with us and we're going to explore if there's any spirits or navy personnel who would love to speak to us please do so i come with the greatest respect for you guys and I would love to hear your stories. I am not afraid to speak to you. You know, I've been doing this for a while, so I don't I, I don't want you guys to think that that you're not allowed to make yourself known because you'll scare us. You know, I'm here to capture truth and proof of the afterlife, and I have the greatest respect for you guys and for protecting our country. So I hope that you do join us and you can follow me around whisper in my ear again if you want or tap me on the shoulder but yes uh we, we come here out of i come here out of respect and you know you guys know bill already he's been here a long time but i hope you guys do let me know that you're here it would be awesome to get to meet some of you guys and sick bay is our navy hospital but that's way far aft for one thing and number two uh if you were hurt, you were needed to be to have someplace near where they could take care of you. Now that might be a little boohoo that they can kiss and make better and send you back to, to your job. Yeah. Or maybe it's not life threatening, but you couldn't go back to your gun mount or whatever the case was because of a broken arm or leg or something like that. And uh, so this was a medical room, right, Bill? Yeah, it's a medical room, but it's 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 for uh, repairing you. You know, first aid, uh, sometimes extensive first aid. But because the guys in here were, were, were highly trained, uh, they weren't doctors, but they were highly trained, kind of like paramedics. Okay. The, uh, but anyway, they tried to stabilize you as much as you, they could until such time as they could afford to get you to, to sick bay. Okay. Now, the strangest thing that's ever happened to me in here, I'll tell you what, what some of the normal stuff is, is whenever I came in, I'd, I'd like K2s for, for a variety of reasons. Number one is they let you know something's in the space. I use them sometimes to let me know if something comes into the space. Mm -hmm. But yeah, because if it's not doing anything now, but all of a sudden it starts acting up, then it tells me. Plus, I use these for yes/no answers. K2s are ultra uh, uh, versatile. But anyway, I had a, a guy down here that thought he might want to do this. Uh, halfway through, he decided he didn't want to, so I had to walk him on out. <laughs> but anyway, I was given the stories in here. Then I went to leave to go to the next place, and I reached, I reached down to get my K2, and it was gone. It moved. Yeah, well, it, it was just gone. Uh, he didn't see it. I didn't see it, and wasn't on the deck anywhere. But it wasn't there. Wow. Uh, anyway, that happens. It's called a porting in the spirit world. It's where you have something with some place, and all of a sudden it's gone, and you Teleport, find it someplace right. else. Yeah, and you don't know. That happens quite a bit on here, especially with our female uh, staff, especially the attractive ones. They're messing with those girls mm -hmm. all the time, and they kind of get like it. But anyway, the, uh, uh, we got about halfway through, and he decided, oh, I've not had enough. I want to leave. So wow. I walked him down to the bottom of the pier to get him out the gate. But instead of going home, I thought, I'm going to go back to check for to see if I can find that K2. I walked back in here, and it was right where I left it. Really? Yes, right there. It was right there. You right hear that, guys? There. This ship is no joke, man. This is... And let me tell you... Look at my face, guys. It's super hot down here. Whew. Sauna. Ooh, it's like a sauna. Yeah. Now, uh, what we sometimes get here is we'll be in here talking and we'll, we'll have, hear footsteps on the metal deck and sometimes shuffling like they stop. Mm -hmm. I was trying out uh, a new set of uh, let me take this for equipment. Somebody else grabs it. 
But anyway, the uh, so it, 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 it was a, a perimeter proximity alarm where it uh, got in that within motion, the light would come on, plus it would play a tune, but you could set it to three different songs so that you knew where the, you didn't need to see the light, you could tell where it was coming from. The one out here in the starboard passageway kept going off. And uh, so people would keep looking out there and I said, look, just just ignore it. You know, they're, they're yeah. kind of just looking for attention. You know? Wow. So anyway, uh, had a big guy in here from Arkansas. He's standing at the door. He was a disbeliever at that time. I don't know if he is now. But he kept scoffing everything. But after we kept ignoring this guy out here in the passageway, he said, okay, you ignore me and watch this. He went up and stroked the back of this guy's hair. And that big guy went from there to here in like 2.0 milliseconds or something wow. like that. I mean, he was up across there. Wow. I don't see K2 going off anything, anywhere. Okay, we're just getting started, brother. Yep. We'll see what happens. Oh, no, let's go someplace hotter. This is too damn cold in here for me. <laughs> oh, speaking of cold. Great. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, he's, he's, he's physically fit. He's, he's, he was tuned to everything. But uh, I got up there and I had to turn around and see where they were. His wife was right behind me. But I saw him coming up and he's about where you are, facing forward. But then he whipped around like he was going to take yeah. on somebody. Uh, but then he, you could see the confusion in the back of his head because it's like he's, you know, throwing his arms up. Wow. So I asked him what happened and he said he was coming through here and said it wasn't a grab so much, but it's more like somebody just pat him on the shoulder. Top and he right. said, yeah, he's a cop. He said, you don't do that, you know. <laughs> he panicked. But yeah, well, he turned, but it, it, he did. Uh, he looked normal to me, but his wife said, uh, that had been married to him for several years, said, said uh, he is really bothered. <laughs> and then later on, I'll show you where it happened. Okay. I don't get uh, mean spirits on here. I got one of those sprinters here. I don't get mean spirits on here, but these guys are practical jokers, like moving stuff. Yeah. Well, uh, I had him back in an area where he just did not like. Really? He liked the area we were in, but there's another dark area that off to his left. He kept saying, what's over there? What's over there? And I, I'd explain it to him. And he said, do we have to go through there? I said, no. If you don't want to go through there, when are you going to go through there? Wow. And so then we started talking, and only and then out of the dark came this growl. A growl? Like an animal growl, uh, which you normally associate with demon activity and everything. But I'm sitting there waiting to see what happens next, and nothing happened. But he definitely got excited. And I thought, he was, they stood there and heard him talking about how scared he was over there, and they're messing with him. Wow. He made that animal growl just to really trip his trigger. I horse. think that's what they love to do. I, I, I honestly think that they're in a different realm and they see us, but we can't see them. Oh, yeah. Uh, and if they want to play around with us, they will, just to scare us, you know? Yeah, we, we go out of our way to de debunk things. Yep. Uh, for example, we had a, a paranormal group in here that took random shots. Uh, and they sent one, and but the way it looked, it, it would have yeah. been taken over here. But the way it looked, in that door right there, it looked like there was, if you look, there's a passageway over there. But with the angle of the look and everything, everything, it looked like there was a shadow person peeking around there. They're like taking a and quick thought, peek. Holy crap, yeah, you take whatever pictures you want. I don't know, but I, I didn't, they, take, they took it, then they sent it to me saying, hey, we got a shadow person. Well, I'm not just going to take that. You know, so I came on down and I checked and re realized what it was. It was at the time, this was wrapped a little bit different. But it used to stick out more. And the camera caught this and it made it look like, it yeah. really did it look like. It made it look like, like a head, right? Yeah, so I took pictures of, of on this side. And then I took pictures on this side and put it in. And to their credit, they immediately got on the uh, yeah. uh, internet and said, okay, this has been debunked. So debunked. I yeah. like that. Somebody, somebody does that, I appreciate it. Yep. I appreciate that more because now I'm going to believe. Stuff oh, yeah. Like I always try to debunk things yep. before I even consider it paranormal. Yep. Anyway, there's that, uh, that dead thing. What is this, Bill? Yeah. Why do y'all have this here, Bill? <laughs> you want to explain yourself? Why is this here? <laughs> you know, I, I, I wound up short on my last head count the last time I did a hard hat tour, so that might be him. You think he's, you think he's ticklish, Bill? Yeah. Coochie, uh, coochie, coo. yeah, he's up here. You, you take it. <laughs> yeah. No way. Yeah, you, you fired him up. You take if it. If this thing moves, I'm out of here, man. 
<laughs> Guys, isn't that a little creepy? Up. Now this is the cool thing about Battleship guys is that everything we do we got to go up ladders and on a battleship they all said you don't call them stairs okay and you don't call bathroom bathrooms you call them heads we already went to go use the head and now we're coming up this ladder that chain right yeah so why is it wobbling do you think there's a fan on there's the ACs up here, but there's the steps up there, and they've taken the water wobbling. So with the rest of the chain. But again, if somebody had come up here, you know, and, and tapped it, I could understand that. But at some point, it's going to stop. But it's not stopping. Maybe it's paranormal activity. Could be. Guys, this is a heavy chain. We have plastic chain, we have metal chain. That metal chain yeah, is Yeah, it's not even a, a plastic chain, it's a metal chain. Yeah. Maybe something wants us to come over here. Yeah, I'll probably touch this. I can't see I did. Mm -hmm. but sometimes you're standing here talking will just absolutely start moving on its own. Isn't this cool guys? We're the only ones down here and, and you can just imagine how huge the ship is. You can just imagine all the Navy personnel when this wasn't a museum doing their thing, getting ready for war, getting ammo, running around bleeding. Every, when they were under attack, you can just imagine all the chaos that went on in here, all the panic that set in. And now today you can walk around and embrace it and go back in history but can you imagine what it was like back then when everything was happening it's amazing guys let's get going we're in a different section of the ship uh we don't think this area is haunted but look how cool it is this is i think this is a steering wheel i don't know what this is but bill is going to tell us a story about this room and what it was used for okay this room was not put here for the filming of the movie Pearl Harbor. Parts of that movie were filmed on here, and we acted as two ships for that. The USS Hornet, the CV-8 that flew the Doolittle Raid, so this ship acted as part of that. The B-25s actually took off off this deck. And as the Japanese flagship Akagi, who was in charge of the Japanese fleet that attacked Pearl Harbor. This was the uh, bridge scene for the Akagi in the movie Pearl Harbor. Uh, this, is, this is actually here because it's called secondary con secondary control because when you go to battle you always assume that the possibility of the bridge and the captain getting wiped out so what happens and when that uh, before that even happens when they first set the general quarters the ship's executive officer the number two guy goes off to another area that looks just like this that uh, then he brings a bridge crew with him in case the captain dies the executive officer can assume command immediately the ship has never left without supervision. This used to be up where the, the kamikaze hit, uh, and Mike and I saw that earlier, it's got a Japanese flag up there, but that's where the kamikaze hit, and it wiped out that crew. Well, when they went to repair it, they realized that it was on the same level as the bridge, and so that if it hit a little bit forward, it could have taken out both areas. So when the ship was modernized back in the early 1950s, they put in a hurricane valve, and they put this in as secondary pond, so it actually served the function. But it also, now in the movie Pearl Harbor, is acting as the bridge of the Je Japanese flagship Akagi. Now, just in case the camera, which was over there, kind of came on around, they wanted to make sure everything looked authentic, so everything here up here was printed in Japanese. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Yep, this is the rudder angle indicator, this is the engine order telegraph, and you can see where everything's in Japanese. But they left that there, right? Yeah, well, and, uh, after the movie, she was never going to go to sea again, so why Amazing. not? Makes for a good conversation piece. That's what you call a great conversation piece, right, guys? Wow. All right, let's continue this tour, Bill. All right. Okay. 
Guys, we're gonna try a necrophonic gap session. We got our trigger devices all lined up. Let's see if a spirit wants to come through. I don't know if there's an AC vent down there or not. It's showing high. If, if so. you guys are down here with us, if there's anybody here with us, there's a ball also over there. If you go grab that ball, you can make it light up or you can touch that box and make it light up to let us know that you're here. Can any of you guys touch that ball or walk in front of the laser grids? Now some of the things that we've had is over there. That's my Bluetooth. Okay, you ready to talk to them? Go for it. Let's do it. Okay guys, that device on the ground, is it's nothing to be afraid of, it's just a speaker. All you have to do is talk into my phone, which I'm holding in my hand, and you can speak to us, and we'll be able to hear you through that speaker. Are there any Navy personnel here on the Lexington with us? Was that, was that a yes? I couldn't make it out. Can you verify that and say yes if, if, you, if that's what you said? Because you see blue show up on that yeah. outer rim. That shows the direction of something fairly solid. Who is here with us right now? Can you speak to us? You see it? Yes, sir. I see. Wow. Can you make that device flash? Can you make that ball light up? Look at that around. There's something cold down there. And it's showing up here. Mm -hmm. Who is the spirit? Who is the spirit that we're talking to? Did you? Did you pass on the Lexington? Yep. Do you remember the war? Can you go to that ball at the in the hallway and touch it? Can you make a knocking sound? Can you let us know that you're here? Do you know my name? My name is Mike. Can you repeat that? Yes. Did you say no? I said like no. Who's your commander in charge? Mm -hmm. Can one of you guys knock on something or make that meter go off? No. I was like a no, right? If I say please, out of respect, can you grab that ball on the floor and make it light up? Did you guys see the kamikaze when it was coming your way? Were you in the brig? Did you serve time in the brig? Can you guys say hello, Bill? Just like that, it went quiet. 
Did you guys go somewhere else? Where do you want us to go to? But there's nothing showing up on the grid. Hello? Hello, are you still down here? So what room was this, Bill? Print shop. This is what it looks like, guys. I'm gonna turn on. I'm gonna turn on my necrophonic app again, and I know they can speak if they want. Says just uh, the green pro. It's, it says it's far away, but. <coughs> I need all Navy personnel, if, if you're in this room with us right now, we're having a brief meeting. We put a device in the center of the floor for you to communicate with us. You can go near that, you know, use your energy, use my energy. You can make it light up. There's a ball on the ground. You can touch it. You can walk across the grid to communicate with us. Who's in this room with us right now? Bullshit. We're not playing with you guys. We're we're here out of respect, man. We want to get to know you guys. We know you're some we, we know you guys were tough guys. Can you move something? Can you make a noise? Uh. Can you can you walk across the grid? Are you in pain? What kind of jet did you fly? Did that say Tomcat? I don't know. I, couldn't I, to, I don't know. Did you guys work here in the print shop? What was your job here in the print shop? What was the color of your uniform? Pink. What is it? I thought it said pink. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> freaking likely. <laughs> was that a laugh? Yeah. You. Who was your captain? Whoa. Whoa. Did you see that, guys? <laughs> that thing lit up. You saw that? Yeah. Super bright. That thing is also showing a presence. It's far away. You can see the green light on that bottom ring. Yeah. That, that shows uh, directions right, right ahead of us. And distance. The distance is far. Who's your Who's your captain, guys? Tell us. That's really picking up. That's like so many people trying to talk over each other. Yep. One at a time, please. Can you please tell me the color of your uniform? Was it brown or blue? Blue. 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 That was blue. Thank you. We hurt you. That means you are here with us. Now, are you guys at peace now? Can you guys finish this sentence for me? The star spangled. Oh, say, can you? Was that, was that C, Bill? Thelma? Uh, 
Look at that, look at that. I don't know what that's doing. I don't know what it's doing, but it's tripping out. Yeah. They like the patriotic stuff. Thank you. What did it say? What's up? It says, I, I heard Bill, I heard, hey. Did you? Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Hey, I said, what's up? Nice to meet you. What's your name? Jonathan? Maybe Jonathan. If you know that you're a true warrior and you will protect the ship with your life, give me a sign. Did you see a sign? Uh, how about giving us something we know, like a knock on the wall? Is there anybody in here that likes cinnamon crisp apple? Oh, ho, ho. that's a response, man. That, we had that old one, yeah. one time, cinnamon apple. You guys like? You guys know what a K2 is. I use one all the time. <laughs> Did you say so? <laughs> it's not like you go so. I've had to answer that. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're going to keep exploring. You're more than welcome to tag along.